Bye, Mom! Bye, Dad! Farewell, Brian. I'm off to sea. An hour from now, I'll be surrounded by semen. Sperm whales and semen. Ooh, a swallow. Stewie, Peter and Lois aren't taking you with them. They've already boarded. What are you doing? I'll teach that hussy to go on a boat ride without me. When she returns, I'm going to put bamboo splinters under all her fingernails. Then I'm going to strip her down and tie her to the bed. Okay. Then I'm going to make her crawl on her hands and knees while I drip hot candle wax all over her back. Uh, and then what are you going to do? Uh, let's see. You're going to shower her off after all that candle wax? No, I'm going to keep her filthy. Yeah, she's been a bad girl. And then I'm going to gag her with her own brassiere. Oh, <laughs> what? No, no, nothing, nothing. That's, that's all part of your diabolical plan to humiliate her. Yes, yes, she'll be humiliated. Maybe you'll handcuff her. She'll hate that. Then I shall do that as well. And call her a bitch. Until I'm hoarse with rage. Maybe smack her ass with a riding crop. Yes, and it... What? No, I mean, that, that, that would, like, that, that would show her. Are you... You're getting some kind of sick sexual thrill off this, aren't you? Who cares? You're not going to kill her anyway. You're going to bitch and moan, and then you're going to do what you always do. The minute Lois walks through that door, you're going to forget all about it, beg for your apple juice, go poop, and fall asleep. I did it! I killed her! She's dead! Oh, ow, ow, ow! Mommy! 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 Oh, yeah, that's right. Hey, where have you been? I had another date. You know, I'm glad you're finally putting yourself out there. Lois would have wanted you to move on. Yeah, only this one was kind of awkward. My date was a stick figure. So, I, how would this work in, in bed? Well, I can't do sex, but I can give you a stick job. That, uh, that sounds... Yes, it is very unpleasant. But the freakiest was that date I had with Barney. Peter, you don't know how badly I need this. I don't know, Barney. It's it's just a little weird. Joe's a friend of mine. No, it, it's okay. I promise you, it's okay. I'm not sure. It's okay, Peter. Just remember, whatever you do, don't tell Chris I'm dating. Peter, Lois has been dead for a whole year. You're gonna have to tell him sometime. Shh, 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 shh. Hi, Dad. Did we get any mail from Mom at the health spa today? Nope. Sorry, Chris. She said she's going straight from the spa right back to Europe. But I haven't seen Mom since she took me back to school shopping. All right, sweetie. You ready to get some new notebooks and protractors and slacks? I want blue jeans. You're getting slacks! No matter what it takes, you are going to pay for this. You know, it's funny. From this position, I can hear Meg upstairs. I'm going to pretend you're the New York Knicks. I didn't know that you had life insurance on Lois. Did you get that right before the cruise? Actually, I got it on the cruise. Right after we had that big fight when I said I wish you were dead right before I never saw her again. Well, see you guys later. I gotta go buy hot dogs. We keep running out for some reason. This is fantastic! I'm completely off the hook! What the hell? Hey, little man. Tell Chris to open his window. <laughs> Joe, what the hell is going on? You're a suspect in Lois's murder. That's what's going on. Don't make us go good cop, developmentally disabled cop on you. Um, we know that, um, you, um, killed Lois. Um, hello? Um, no. We can, um, put you at the, um, Scene where she, um, was, um, killed. Obie's right, Peter. It doesn't look good for you. Hey, Dad, if they put you in jail, can we go in your room? Look, don't you kids buy any of this for a second. Your father is innocent. Oh, he killed her. Just like the telephone killed the telegraph sex business. Hey, baby, I bet you're hot. Stop. Describe to me what you're doing to yourself right now. Stop. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, nasty! Prosecutor, call your first witness. Peter called me right after he killed my daughter to tell me he killed my daughter. Really? Well, that is interesting. Yes, and as a favor to the court, I've produced this simulation of how the killing transpired. I play Peter, and I hired an Asian hooker to play my daughter. 
Lois, I'm fat and I'm stupid, and I fart at times that ruin my father-in-law's social occasions, and that's why I'm never invited to them. You pay me now? <gasps> Mr. Griffin, do you drink? I plead the fifth of Jack. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. Yes, I drink. And have you ever struck your wife? Only in front of the kids to assert my status as dominant male of the pride. Are you a violent man? What are you, a wise guy? Because I know how to deal with wise guys. No further questions. You son of a bitch. If I had a gun on a boat, I'd shoot you. 